Scotty, if I were to tell you 15 years ago, in the future, I'm going to be vaping some live resin in my tent, measuring my PPFD of my LEDs to get the proper distance from canopy, what would you think? <laughs> you know what I mean? What's going on? Oh, man. Do I drive my electric car to the grow? Does my car drive me to the grow? Dude, the future is now, man. It is pretty trippy, all the new stuff, all right? Yeah, let's talk a little bit about it. As far as uh, some grow tech, uh, consumption, and I got a little bit of history as well. You think concentrates are just fresh and new in the past decade. They've actually been around for a long time. And Hot nice. they interrogate people. They interrogate people. I love it. Let's get into it, Scotty. I like that. Could you imagine them trying to interrogate me with hash? Maybe like, I think it's broken, boss. <laughs> hey, I got this What's one. Up? Right. Oh, yay, Banner. Oh, oh, say hi to the Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, man. It's a beautiful you know what's day. Ironic? That is, that is your, is, that's not a real background. But ironic is if you were to turn that off, the background that you would really have is almost as beautiful or similarly beautiful, sir. What do you mean? It's not yeah. real. I mean, it is. It's so <laughs> real. Man. Oh, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> no one should ever let me go live, by the way. I'm a <laughs> secret teller, my secret keeper. <laughs> uh, it, can I just, just everybody have a laugh at this with me, man. When Bob Marley said smoke weed every day, which I'm not sure if he did, but I hope he did. Do you think he meant this? When Bob Marley said smoke weed every day, he wasn't talking about this. And it's a vape pen, man. Well, that's not weed. I mean, it kind of is. Do you smoke weed? Yeah, I vape. And, you know, I vape, yeah. Every day before work, I hit my pen. It's kind of somebody who smokes weed, right? Mm -hmm. I debate. I debate. I I mean, I'm always thinking flower. Banners change these days. Uh, Vape pen, though, man, it's a little different when you're dealing with concentrates that are like in the rig versus the juice. I can't, I don't know. I can, you got to claim, you know, call yourself a vapor at that point. Man, I tell you, it's really, I I hate the bus chops on it, but it just doesn't work so good, man. The vape pens, uh, my mother in law pulled me aside and she goes the vape pen it really doesn't get me very high and i'm like yeah welcome welcome you know it sure is convenient yeah. though it is the best way you higher the best way i've heard it said is i was visiting santa barbara my bro on a trip and i went to a dispensary and they're like hey by the way we, we got a free coupon for like a, a some type of i don't know if it was live resin or whatever flavorful little pen and like jr said one day it just doesn't have legs man like i liked it my wife liked it my son liked it but we all would just hit the shit out of it like it, it yep. i mean i guess maybe not all of them are like that but it just doesn't have yes. and i'm gonna overuse this term i guess the entourage effect with the terps and everything i find in flower and think about what happens when you hit a cart that's 60 or 80 percent thc 20 times uh, it gets your your tolerance up, like up a lot. Endocannabinoid. Endocannabinoid. I'm just stoked I can say that clearly, I believe, and properly. I don't think you even can. I think you came close, but just an extra <laughs> extra syllable or two, man. It's all good. That's what makes you lovable, dude. Mm, all right, I'll take it. Hey, so I just, uh, Hot Rod came over a couple days ago. Banner was here and he just took a beautiful plant that I had. I didn't, I just froze it and then he took it and put ice on there and it beat it up. Or at least he actually just stirred it gently with a paddle. And at the end of it, I still have it. uh, The uh, It's frozen in my garage and it's just this frozen bud. And I'm like, I cannot believe that I grew this beautiful flower to smush it. You know, and that's, uh, do me a favor, Grambo, the rosin from a hair straightener. Let's just go down memory lane because this is the first time I heard about making rosin. It was go squishing a bud in a hair straightener. Does anybody remember that? Maybe 10, 12 years ago. Yo, I got a homie that's oh, still yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. For real. And look at that guy's yeah. face, man. I mean, that pretty much says it all. Hey, Grambo, you're a little bit loud. You might turn yourself down a tiny bit. Ah, uh, but dude, that guy, that, that is what I was thinking when, uh, when I was squishing my, or washing my butt, honestly. The, and how many pissed off daughters, wives, girlfriends, <laughs> were <there? laughs> like, what, uh, what did you do to this? <laughs> oh, bet, too much. 
I bet. But it's just it has gotten almost unrecognizable. Like I thought I was progressive 15 years ago uh, with a volcano. You know, that way the people were like, whoa, what's that? But the stuff that is now showing up, Grambo, dab rigs and torches. Just I think this was. Yeah. I mean, if somebody showed you that, I don't know what me and you were hanging out, dude, you know, 15 years ago or something like that. That's great. I don't know. I'd be like, what is that? Are you sure that's for? No, that's I've been around for a minute. I hear you. There's the association uh, when you start to get into that where people are like, what? Yeah. Like in some of the concentrates, like the crumble and this and that literally look like <laughs> hardcore drugs. If you're familiar, like, you know, and then you get out a torch and the glass and don't get me started about my phrase, dirty dabbers. Make sure you dabbers clean up after yourself. I'm da- I'm tainted because I after DDC cup, I had to clean up. Go, what's that? See, does this does this say that you smoke weed, man? That you just have a case of which one says that you're a stoner more? Having a case of butane or having a case of rolling papers, man. Rolling paper says grower. Ah yeah. Butane says blaster. Master I don't blaster. want to myself shit on, you know, concentrates. I get it. There's an application for them. There's people that are addressing either medicinal needs. They might be getting off other drugs and they're leaning on cannabis for some help and they enjoy concentrates. They're completely saturated in their endocannabinoid system. I think I nailed it, Scotty. And uh, it's Perfect. it's just not completely uh, for me. One thing I do like about concentrates is the tastes on some of them are amazing. Uh, so that is a good thing, but I have literally gotten helicopter high to elevate and everybody's like, okay, well, dude, stalk and we'll tote um, myself, but check out the show. Show, oh, see, dude. what were you just hitting there, Banner? What is that thing called again? The X something? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> it's imaginary. That's the dab X right there. Uh, hey, tell we, so we had Hot Rod come over yesterday and he brought some of his, you know, artisan dabs, I'll say. I hope I didn't put an extra silver on that. Uh, <clears throat> it came with batter. What did it come with? It came with recommendations for temperatures for, for uh, dabbing. I think it's convenient. Good idea. Yeah, four weeks have your rig don't go to 520, does it? No. Uh, that's but, but pretty close. What was also interesting is when I was like, oh, you know, dabs don't really get me so high. Not dabs, but, you know, concentrates don't, you know, they don't get me super high. He was like, uh, yeah, I just take one half gram dab in the morning. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, gram dab. That's crazy. Call like, for about 10 minutes. <laughs> that might be the secret. I don't know. But- but when you have the the dabs like this, though, I think the thing is the it's the purity. It's so clean, dude. Oh my god! And so yeah, that is a big consideration. It's gold star, man. I mean, gold star. How many dabs can you get out of a gram? Like I, I roughly like how long is it going to last you, or how many do I say hits, or do I say dabs? A couple hours. Uh, grams last me days. You know, what I mean, I'll do a dab or two and a small <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually can save uh, them. I have a little collection in my dab fridge, man. I, I will say though, like if you if you just keep going back though, you're you'll get a crazy tolerance really fast. Yes, you will. Which in turn is messing with though. the flower. What's that? Right? Can you not can you not now that you're having that dabs more banner, or is that taking your tall like your flower isn't doing the do- the job for you anymore? You know? No, I I, I wouldn't say that. You just have less. Less is more, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. Joint will still get me baked, man. Even if I yep. hit the bait pen for, you know, 20, 50 times in a row the night before or the week before because I'm somewhere where I can't get yeah. more. Man, one joint, I'm like, woo, yeah. I, I feel like it's what you're doing. A lot of it's what you're doing, too. No way. It's the weed, man. Like, literally what you're doing. You know, man, if you go like going skiing, like the pen is just, you can't beat yeah. it. You just can't you barely it. need to smoke weed when you're going skiing because it's freaking amazing. You know what I mean? Whatever your natural endocannabinoid system is, it's like, yes, pleasure. Yeah, but you ever ski on weed, dude? Yeah, <laughs> it is freaky. <laughs> it makes the list. Oh, I don't. Anyhow, I don't notice as much. That's one of those things. That's the same. Depends on maybe if you're taking a chill run, you know, flowing in the powder down a blue. But 
same with mountain biking. Like once I get going and I'm in the zone, I, especially like I say, the the difference between being high inside of my like my studio here with the four walls and the ceiling versus going outside with all the different angles and 3D and elements and fresh air and sky. And I just I know it goes together, but I don't feel like, oh, man, like I'm lit, like I'm high. It just kind of all melds together. No, it's I I feel I feel that. I feel that. I guess I guess where where it it works for me is uh you know like you you ski hard for a little while. I mean I get tired and then that's when the cruising and hitting the pen and getting the headphones going and chilling out, waiting for the kids to finish skiing because they can go all day and I can't anymore. That's amazing. (laughs) That's amazing. Better so you chill out in the chill out in the parking lot, man. Tailgate. Yes, good times. Remember, Old people. Click stuff. this next link, man. High tech smoking devices, because if we're hanging out in the parking lot and I see you with one of these, yeah, scroll down. This is pretty good, man. It was like a gift guide. So what? Hey, the Dynavat. Look at that Dynavat made it right. Hey, is that? A, that's the stores and Bickle thing, ain't it? I have one of those on the man. right. The, the, that's oh. a little too small for me, man. I like the plenty and I like the volcano. There that's you go. I, do I would try that one. Hold up on the Dynavat there for a second. Look at that, the craftsmanship as far as the wood and metal, the no batteries, uh, the price point for dryer vaporizer 50 and up. And all you need is a little tiny torch. And you can't be intimidated when I say torch. I got a little guy right here. Um, so sweet, man. I do love the Dyna Vap. I right, scroll down some more, man. There's a bunch of cool ones. There's a couple, it was hit or miss here, man. So let's see what we got. Cheap and what is that? That's uh from Gucci. It's the GoPro <laughs> face. What you take a picture, it takes video? I don't know. I'm just how kidding. is it the GoPro? <laughs> Hold on. How is it the GoPro of vapes? No, no. Oh, come on. This is so bad. They at Chat GPT might have made this. All right, man. All right, but scroll down really quick. That's just a vape pen. I'm some high end vape pen. Blazy Susan's. What is that? What? Blazy Susan. Blazy Blazy Susan's been around for a while, man. Yeah, we know about them. They're cool. All right, come on, Grambo. Check the grinder out, though. Look, Look at this thing, man. It's an AI enabled grinder right there. The Banana Bros Auto and AI enabled. What? I know. What does that even mean? What what is the bar for being AI enabled? Like, does it have more than one switch or something? It just it senses the moisture of your cannabis, and then it asks you what kind of grind you want, and then it now it is pretty amazing. I think it I think it does have some kind of app functionality. But I don't, go, go back and show it, Grambo. It has a cone that goes in the bottom of it, and then uh, you know one of those uh, joint cones, and then it fills it for you. It's pretty. Wow. I don't know. Come on, this is about the future, right? If fifteen years right. ago I go, what will we? Cool. Do? Like, oh, how will I roll a joint in the future? And that's how it shows me. I'm like, what? Cool idea. I don't get the AI though. That's just something. The thing is, I'll yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's it's the new term. I already see it happening now. Where every the packaging for a a stereo or headphones everything's got to be oh, oh ai enabled ai featured ai it's going to be like a selling point you remember like bluetooth of course was listed on now bluetooth enabled next thing it's ai it's kind of Bro, like I intel think, inside i sent grambo this yes. thing. we're gonna we're gonna go see necronomicon and i was trying to convince them to go and i was looking at the you know like the thing this up and where to buy you know the description of what it is and where to buy tickets and it was so written by chat gpt <laughs> they were like here you can see necronomicon if you like uh, necro necro goblin <laughs> necro goblin it is necronomicon is such a freaking better name man necro goblin so that explains why the guys dressed up like a goblin right just collectively while we're on this, I don't want to get, get too off subject, right. but when I recently was putting a video together for um, our Patreon producers over on Vimeo, that's his uploading service, and they immediately, new feature, would you like to have AI title and recommend a title and description, all this stuff, like, well, yes. what is happening? Where's this going to end? How will we know what is real? Aussie Man Reviews just put out a good video on AI. Check out that, Aussie Man Reviews AI. Um, but it's, it freak, it's freaking me out, Scotty. 
it's going to get weirder, bro. I saw, saw an article about Elon Musk being like, build more transformers, as many factories that can build power transformers as possible and ramp up the energy because AI is going to suck it in. Man. All right, back to weed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The high C, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Did we miss any? Oh, the Cupsy. I put the Cupsy on the on the next link. Oh, that's old news. I've had one of those for Dude, a no, the Cupsy bong. Check this yeah, thing out. The next one if you would. <laughs> yes. yes. Come on. Now show Grandma, if you scroll down, you'll see the I think they have a video showing how it functions. Yeah, go down below this right here. This is awesome. It uh, looks scary. A little full. It's like it's, I'm getting one. It's the like, future's awesome. It's child sports friendly. What we're looking at, guys, is like a it's like a Starbucks looking coffee cup with a plastic lid that literally it opens the top. You put a little bowl in. If I sat down somewhere outside on a patio and saw somebody pull this off, I would be like, "You are the coolest dude ever right now." Okay, That's, yeah. <laughs> Starbucks. You put the little Starbucks ring around it. You know, I'm wow. getting one. I'm getting. Hey, one. Come- Let's shout out. Uh, Banner was talking about the first time he did dabs. Come on, let's give just a shout out to the gravity bong, really quick, man. Anybody remember the gravity oh, bong? Oh, Learning. yes. It's a good meme. Learning about gravity in elementary school. Those things are evil, dude. About gravity in college. Painful. Burn your throat. Yeah, it's so extremely evil. high. Oh, but the, so I agree. Nice. Just like the graphics bong, when people are, who yeah. who can take the biggest rip off the deck? You know, we got an eight foot tube, and it's like. You just trash your throat for like hours. You, the gravity bong, someone will inevitably tip the whole thing into the water every time. <laughs> Man, Rambo, do you remember when you were so ripped, you started doing gravity bong hits out of the top of the toilet? No. Yeah. No, no, never been there. I see somebody. Uh, do that's, it. that's okay, though. Somebody I do approve it. it. Yeah, it's, they go, hey, it's clean. It's clean, man. Where's the well, we worst back. place that you've ever seen someone do a gravity bump hit, man? Sounds like a good comment. I mean, you, somebody's obviously going to say the toilet on the other side, not the upper tank. You, no, you, you, <laughs> you know that like a zillion studies have confirmed that toilet seats are cleaner than doorknobs, right? Oh, dude, I'm a bacteria oh, guy. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. I'm getting into washing my washing my hand speech. It'll probably gross people out. I'll never shake my hand again if I get into washing my hand speech. But I want to talk about some of the history quickly. Looking at yeah. these new smoking devices, and Scotty's like, you know, concentrates are coming along a long way. They've been along around forever. We don't like hashish is really old, back into the 18th century. Um, can this is an interesting cannabis-based tinctures. Lined the shelves of local apothecaries in the U.S. until Prohibition. It was widely used medicinally until Prohibition. And then this one, check out this, Scotty, later. Um, confirmed and declassified World War II documents described a THC acetate serum used by the U.S. Office of Strategic Services for their biochemical interrogation program. Yes. So, <laughs> That's what I mean. They could get us in there and you'd be like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> Dude, I love though. I could you can get people real if they don't have any experience with you know yeah. at all, and you give them some what do they call it? Uh, the, the biochemical soaps, acetate THC acetate serum from the biochemical interrogation program. I don't know. Jesus. I don't know if that would be good. Would that, that be good? To hold if, up if it's a serum? Are they just giving them straight up? Well. THC just at, and they're just getting them on 200 milligrams or 500 milligrams of edibles where they can't lie. Yeah, I don't know if that'd work well. I did hear like when you go into what is the gas? Maybe at the dentist, or I think if you go in to get like even potentially like uh depends on what procedure you get where they don't put you out. But I've heard that can make you honest. Like, yeah, like go in with your significant other if you need to ask them something you think they're lying about, right? When they get gassed. No. Man. Oh, I see what you're saying, but yes. not on I don't think you'd want to ask anybody on nitrous. Any, yes. any It'd be kind of weird in the doctor office. The staff <laughs> might be a little weirded out by that. Dude, step uh, of the day. We could Go try ahead. it on you next time you visit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good stuff, man. So, what, you were who was talking about the history of? Uh, and so you're saying that hash is basically that is the first concentrate. That is the first extract, right? We've been doing that forever. 
Oh, easy. And I mean, the easiest way they did it is just from processing, you know, just like, what do they call the hash, like finger hash, basically, or, you know, to what would people would like run through the fields, you get like, just you could just rub it off your body, which is kind sounds kind of gross. But, you know, it's probably pretty good. Where all the flavor that. comes from, dude. Yeah, a couple of nights ago, I was trimming and it was just on the scissors and I just made the scissor hash. And I think I posted on Instagram about I didn't ask anybody either. Sorry, I guess on uh, the dude gross account, but maybe 1230 at night. And it was just this bowl of just a scissor hash. And it was just you couldn't put it out. Um, and it was right, I and it love was that. Kind of burn. And that is the good stuff. And I did. And by the way, so. Yes, sir. No, go ahead. You hit your by the way. I have a deep thought, man. And that is me and Banner just made hash yet uh, a couple of days ago with Hot Rod. And then we were talking about the difference between hash and dabs and making concentrates. And Banner, what was the only difference? Uh, you press it so that you get rid of the, and somebody will have to tell me what the encasing outside part of the truck is. Yeah. So the liquid inside. It. Yeah, when you press it, you're you're ex- you're getting that liquid out and leaving the sort of like shell container wrapper, if you will, behind. But it's essentially hash. Like what I'm saying is, I agree with dude. It's you know, it, hash is the first concentrate, and we're still essentially smoking hash. It's just super clean. You know, every, an additional step of processing. Yes, that's my deep thought, man. <laughs> Yeah, pretty deep, bro. Yeah. Pretty deep. Before we talk about, so let's talk a little bit about the grow tech these days. Started off with going to dogrows.com forward slash pros, guys, because there's a lot of grow tech there. This is where all our pros are listed, whether you're shopping for your grow room. I'm going to shout out to actually real growers for one. Shout out to hey. realgrowers.com. Pick all up right. some recharge, some grow dots, make growing easy. Excellent reviews across the board, especially on the dots, man. They've been out for a while now. I, I've always doubted one part nutrition with my history working in grow stores um, because there have been a bit of failures out there in the liquid form. But man, the grow dots are easy. Keep you going in and out of your grow with just a little bit of hand watering down the line and super efficient. What You, you got something there, Scotty? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grow dots are not one part nutrition. It's two uh, time-release blends that are mixing together. One that's uh, high nitrogen that runs out early. Then they just put a thicker coating on the other one. So it's delayed release, the P and the K, or just uh, the formula of it. But it is not one formulation. I guess it is. It's two different, a veg and a bloom with delayed reactions mixed together in one. I like it. Let me get that out I there. I like it. Go to zoogrows.com forward slash pros. Coupon codes listed out, whether it's seeds here now, AC Infinity, hooking it up, HLG Integra, a bunch of leaders in the industry, people we talk with, and a bunch of peeps that are going to be at the DGC Cup too. DGCCup.com. I'll throw that in there. Scotty, you sent out an update the other day. I saw via email. Uh, we are sold out of competitor spots, and we are more than halfway sold out on judging. So if you plan on coming June 1st, DGCCup.com. Get your ticket. Yes, and if you get an email from me, it is definitely not written by High C. It's me. It's me. I've got that kind of <laughs> master of the language. Okay. Oh, oh shit! All right. So you you found some high tech growth systems here on Google? Kind of. Kind of. I don't know, but you know, this is kind of what I thought the future would look like. Oh, actually, I just googled it. Do me a favor. Just so there you go. You got grow tents. Which are, I guess they, I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking like uh, past Scotty 15 years ago or so. I'd be like, yeah, that totally makes sense. They probably had tents 15 years ago. But look at some of the other stuff, like that box on the right. There's those two boxes, man. Like that is a gross yeah. chamber. That's it. it those are just yeah, like kind of, you don't need that, man. Unless you're trying to be cool. It show it off, I guess, in your swanky New York uh, little studio. We had a cat, I forgot his name, that made ones uh, out of wood. Like, he made these cabinets. Yeah. Beautiful custom hey, woodwork. And it was really just to be like, hey, look, I'm pimping. I'm a pimp with my pimp grow to show off. Right. You don't need that as well. Um, but, man, one thing back in the day, which uh, isn't as much of a worry now, is carbon filtration. Because how cool would it be to be in a business where you're like, okay, we sell carbon filters because if you don't have one, you go to jail. So it's Yo, like nowadays, not not as important. what's that? First, I saw one of those. I was like, oh, my God, these exist. I need one. Yes, like immediately saw the value in those. 
they can they become a lot lighter these days and easier to deal with um, as far as if you are somewhere you need to deal with them. I luckily don't need a carbon filter, although my neighbor's like starting to smell like dank over here. Right. So, um, but yeah, some of these systems are just hilarious when they sell a little countertop LED, the old one we can all laugh at. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask this. Yeah, like stuff like this. I just wanted to scroll, but I mean, look at that clone rack, man. I mean, I could see that in a. I see what you did there. In in a store. Oh, <laughs> no. I, that's how you know you're a grower. I was actually talking about the uh, set, of, set of racks on the right hand side. Uh huh. Clone rack. You were worried about not enough jokes. Man, I got jokes. <laughs> if, if you if you were to go to a dispensary and you saw that clone rack and you're like, yeah, whatever, that's fifty dollar clone. So it'd be cool stuff, man. Uh, go down uh, a little more, Grambo. We're gonna, gonna look at Grandma's Secret Garden 6.0. Keep going down. That's yeah. not what no, no, grandma grandma looks like, homie. Not that. No, 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 these are grandmas. I don't know where it is. My bad. But they have a product <laughs> called Grandma's Secret Garden because there is a huge um, generation there. The baby boomers, yeah. do I say? That I just see a lot of them coming on board as growers. People that used to grow maybe in the 60s and 70s and couldn't and Prohibition came. And now they're stoked. Dude. And I you know a couple people in the DGC uh, and a buddy of mine that used to be growers under HPS, HID only. Um, and I'm not saying they didn't grow good dank, but coming back into this 20 years later to see what equipment oh, yeah. and lighting is available in lower amperage. Oh, this is awesome, man. Grandpa, will you click that again, man? I think we need to, me and Banner need to revisit that. <laughs> so me and Banner are marketers. So yeah, I'm just curious with all the women, who are they? Scroll down if you wouldn't. Just let's see how many, what is it? I guess middle-aged women or, I mean, I don't know if she's middle-aged, but are they marketing to dudes of our age or something? Are they marketing to women to let them have kind of weird? Oh, or it's, I think I, it is the situation like it's, it's your birthday and it's like, honey, look what I got for your birthday. Yeah. Because they're and not she, really trash. You know I mean? like nice. He's like bent and over I mean, the tent smiling. That's it's so me. weird, dude. That's a little much, but the rest of them are nice. You know, it's like, uh, Hey, your wife's going to buy you a present <laughs> or Maybe they're marketing straight to females, man. I don't know, females, men. To females. Interesting. There are definitely more women coming on board growing. It used to not be as um, two reasons. Men are more risk-taking uh, to a degree. I mean, this just it might have to do with testosterone and just some maybe not being as smart thinking out and consequences. But then also back in the day, women wouldn't grow as much because that they were the mothers. They were if somebody's going to jail, it's not going to be mom or you know yeah. girlfriend or daughter or whatever. So, uh, but it's great, man. I love it. I think they're a little bit better growers than dudes overall. Yeah, we visit daddy in jail. Okay, those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't like your generalization, dude. I just see people as people. Uh, by the way, out of all those growth systems. If I was picking one, I mean, now, 15 years ago, the tent. I'll shout out to AC Infinity for the win because you can just get a kit. But uh, that's what that makes the most sense to me. Just putting up a tent, it's a separate space. Uh, I don't trust that whole micro environment grow chamber. Just seems that's not the way plants are supposed to grow. So the, the other thing, and I, I don't, you know, AC Infinity is a sponsor, but me being a grow equipment geek, They've come out with so much cool shit as far as the <laughs> oscillating 10-speed fans that have a wind program in them to the uh, humidifier with the hose that goes into the tent. It's like they're making equipment very grow-minded and a, an advanced company that's already been in the business of fans and everything else. Um, but if you do shop with them, I won't go off too long. ACinfinity.com, coupon code Dude Grows or Amazon AC Infinity Dude Grows 10. Hook it up, guys. Great way to get growing, even with their all-in-one kit. You don't need to buy anything else but plants and nutrients. Good to go. I will tell you what, I haven't grown in my AC Infinity kit yet, but uh, it is the best place to dry. You can totally, it's it's an What awesome size do you use? Dry. Two by four? I got a two by four that I use. Yep. And it's right next to an Amazon two by four that I bought a long time ago. And I swear I'm looking at it right now. The, uh, it's a, like a rack inside, like one of those closet racks. And the ceiling is drooping. And yeah, it doesn't cost. I don't even know if it costs it much more at all to buy an AC Infinity. And I'll get it off my soapbox. Man. 
Yeah, let's stop talking about growing because we'll save it for next show. I'm kind of bummed out. All I'm going to say is me and the grow last night filming Bud Rot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll talk about it next grow show. This is a happy show. This is a Saturday show. But um, yeah, yeah. Let's let change the moment of silence. Scotty. Stay tuned. Stay tuned hey, for Monday's show. I got a perfect segue, man. Dude, you'll never have yeah. to worry about Bud Rot. What if somebody told you? All right. You'll never have to worry about Bud Rot again in that orange mm. gasm because I had it sent out for gene editing and I edited the gene that made it uh, uh, to make it completely Bud Rot resistant. So I can't get, by the way, I also made it so it's uh, powdery and mildew resistant too. Would you do it? Like it. Nice job. <laughs> I like it. I definitely, uh, cool. good transition. I'm sold. How much do we have to pay to do this? Can I send it in myself? It's well, I mean, it's creepy. This is CRISPR, what we're talking about, which is gene editing where they can cut out sections of a plant. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, when I, when wait, I wait, wait. Article, so, yes, sir. Somebody's doing this commercially where you can send your, your clippings in. I don't know if it's being done for cannabis yet. And I don't know if they really, you know, they, I bet you'd have to study the gene in order to know where to edit it, but <clears throat> that's happening now. So get ready to see this in so, the future. Will this also pertain to things like, I don't know, somebody, Jeez. let's say that, uh, could you maybe eliminate something like Down syndrome? Could you, you know, if it, it, the other things though, people, will argue with this of course is like we don't doesn't nature require some of those imperfections and things we can't just take you know make everything yeah. to, to function right CRISPR, by the way i didn't know if you knew this scotty it's clustered regularly interspace short palindromic repeats i didn't so, but oh, it's a bacterial nice job dude listen what this is here you go mr bacteria over here CRISPR is whoops thanks grambo i was trying to sound smart a bacterial defense mechanism that is capable of recognizing viral dna sequences and cutting them to destroy the infectious agents it's pretty what crazy a molecular scissor it says can be used on any bacteria animal or plant cell so i guess you cut out the you know, the one that's responsive. I don't know what, I don't know how you would do it, damn it, but it seems pretty damn neat, doesn't it? And scary. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's said, well, first, on what was a uh, um, genetically modified food? It was a GM, GMO was, again, I'm not an expert on it. At first, I was pretty, like, not afraid of it, but like, I don't want any of that. I shopped at a grocer, luckily, right across right. my house that their store policy was to not carry anything GMO. So it's a what whole nother thing, these advancements like, I don't think that's as messing with nature as much, though. But, I, you know, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert in these areas. It is. I know about that. They they figured out a way to take the uh, Bacillus thuringiensis uh, strain that uh, bugs don't like. And they figured out a way to implant it into the corn. So now the corn makes its own Bacillus thuringiensis. So the corn now makes it is, is naturally resistant to pests. <clears throat> but it's gonna you don't think that after years that it's gonna make bacillus thuringiensis resistant well bugs? you gotta go down the line so what eats those bugs they're kind of missing out like damn there's not as many bugs for us to eat some type of bird or some shiz it's just yeah. like yeah when you go down you're the making line with super it. bugs bro you're you're encouraging and then we're eating it you know what i mean there ain't been a ton of i don't know it seems weird that we're eating want to Give a disclaimer because if I get some comments, I've been I've almost been getting defensive a little bit, Scotty, on the bud rot quickly. Um, I've grown for 20 years now. I've never battled bud rot nearly as much. Just as a disclaimer, I live in the Pacific Northwest, yeah, literally yeah. in the woods. There's hundreds of trees around my house. It is damp and rainforesty, classified as one. So I think that's my struggle, if you will. So give me some CRISPR. Ah. Uh... Dude, you got to be careful reading the comments, dude. We'll talk after the show. <laughs> what else you got? Ah, uh, here, man. This is uh, talking about all the technology. Our lab-grown cannabinoids, the future. They can now cultured ingredients offer a more accessible and sustainable way to produce an array of important products across the industry. And it's our. It, this is they're partnered with the Kronos Group to produce oh. pre. Pre-cultured cannabinoids at an industrial scale. So they're going to grow them in a lab and they can grow all sorts. THC, CB, CBG, CBC, Yay. THCV, 
so they can culture all these things, man. Wow. Why? Yeah, Kronos Group. I don't even trust the name for some reason. It's Why are we doing this? Shit. They can implant cannabinoids into yeasts and E. coli. And then, we- using, and then they ferment the E. coli to make, or the yeast to make uh, synthetic cannabinoids. Uh, because you can buy. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Because you can bypass the whole growing thing and just have in, in the Walgreens synthetic cannabinoids, you know, one of these pens with a bunch of synthetic cannabinoids. I, I don't trust it, man. I just don't. Oh, care. it's the future, man. Um, how about this? Let me let me present, though, a scenario for you, Ben. ben uh, banana. Banana. <laughs> uh, that's a good one, man. All right, banana. banana. <laughs> basically um let's think uh let's say they they lab produce a bunch of thc cbd and they use it to make some one-to-one pills that work really well for people with severe adhd versus they what do they use here now what um methamphetamine is it basically a form of meth potentially that i know is not all bad on the, the medical terms of things but i think a lab it's producing thc cbd and its derivatives could become potential real good medicine in pill form for people out there on other things to control, like I just gave ADHD as an example, there's plenty of different things out there. It becomes a pharmaceutical. Yeah, yeah, like Marinol. That? Like that's really good. No, well, you know. no. Now it's I know other like- people are going to be screaming, like we say on the show, why not just grow your own? It's so much easier. You don't have to partake in the big pharma program. You don't, and it's not applicable for everybody, yeah. obviously, to grow their own or know anybody that's growing their own. And if their insurance pays for some good medicine, that isn't as addictive or harmful or side effect A B C D, even though it's lab produced THC CBD. I'm for that. You are futuristic, man. Ed, from the future, he's probably sent back here from the future. That's what's going on, right? It it doesn't bother me unless they're at the same time getting rid of you know home home grow. Yeah, they, I feel like they. I don't think they will. All right, I have another conundrum for you, okay? We talk about messing with Mother Nature and the gene editing. So they mm-hmm. think they can, you know how legumes don't need nitrogen? They pull the nitrogen out of the air. They fix their own nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah. So what if you could do that and impart that in other plants? They're considering doing that. So if you had a cannabis plant that never needed fertilizer, you put it outside it, it sucked its own nitrogen in you know the air is what atmosphere is what 70 percent nitrogen 70 something percent um is that good or bad now too you're really starting to mess with mother nature now we're part of the yeah. argument is we're we're part of mother nature correct so are we put here to mess with it in that same sense if it's all you know we're definitely part of the, the thing going on the big picture so i don't know you're so That's organic, close Scotty. Step, what does it really You're mean? So close. What? Organic means uh, carbon based. Except I got yelled at because they say uh, Epsom salts is organic, but I was thinking with carbon based. I mean, what's synganic? <laughs> <laughs> a mix of the two. Yo, I had a trim for like hours yesterday. I uh I watched Elaine Ingham talk about compost for about an hour. She's pretty funny, actually. I I think she's cool. And then uh Dr. Bruce Bugney. All right, can I tell you the craziest coincidence? I shared it with Banner already. Are you ready for this, dude? Mm-hmm. Dude, I um was watching Dr. Bruce Bugney yesterday. You know him? You seem you seem psyched, man. You ready to hear this? I, I, I know I know of him. He's, I haven't listened to much of his material. He's more of a light scientist, I believe. A light scientist. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm just going to do it because I was trimming. So I couldn't look up and watch anything. So I was like, dude, I'll just listen to something. It was Dr. Bruce Bugby and Shane from, is it Migro or Migro? Uh, yes, you got it. Migro, <laughs> Shane and Migro. Yeah, so they were talking about lights. And I was like, dude, this is interesting. And it's about midnight. And then uh, I, de- I uh, text one I cat cannabis who lives on the East Coast. So it's about two o'clock his time. But I was like, well, you should get this guy on the show, man. He'd be so cool. And it can't, one I cat cannabis is like, all right, man, I'll start finding him. I'll try to email him. I woke up this morning and, dude, I had an email that says Bruce Bugby wants to come on the show or is it not uh, wants to agreed to come on the show. And it was just uh, a mint from HLG just decided to reach out that we would he'd be a good guest and just happened to reach out. 
like the exact same time within a few hours of each other. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah. Synchronicity. Is that what it is? Synchronicity. Synchronicity. Man, Synchronicity. It didn't even get a chance to, it didn't even get a but, chance to uh, email. Man, that's uh, weird. Uh, yeah. I mean, Very whatever. Weird. It's a super big coincidence, no? I was thinking, I was telling Banner that I was learning about this light theory and how there's just, you know, par is the plant, what the plant can see. And we have a range that we can see. And there is light that we can see on the far red end of the spectrum, the uh, infrared and all that stuff. And there's light we can't see in the UV spectrum. And just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's there, though, or it's not there, you know? So love to trade with different. I know people say just get VR goggles, but if you could trade for like maybe it wouldn't last like a day, like give me dog vision for a day. And then the next night, I'd be like, give me owl vision tonight. Yeah. And then maybe like the other day, you know, because like, everything seasonal plant vision would probably be hard to even walk around or function at all. I don't know if you probably wouldn't be able to drive or walk into walls, but it'd be yeah. cool to see. And I know you can scientists have put together videos of what some things they think may see like are dogs like black and whitish kind of in shades of gray. Check out the mantis shrimps. The mantis shrimps. Yeah. Don't they have like a crazy they have crazy ability to see like uh, like a really, really wide spectrum. Oh, oh man. We'll do it. <laughs> Grambo, Google that for me. <laughs> Young Jamie. Hey, while Grambo's Googling, all right, no, if I could have told you 15 years ago that you could have 4,000 cannabis plants worth $6.3 million. And by the way, that's based on the, the uh, $93 an ounce going rate in Michigan, which I thought was insane. Um, yeah, click on this article if you would, Grambo. Michigan police sees 4,000 marijuana plants uh, proceed, uh, processed weed worth $6.3 million, man. How's it coming through? Are you in? There you go. And the Michigan Live keeps on to make sure experience is good. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, I can tell you the gist of this is they seized all his plants, 4,000 plants, and uh, they gave him a ticket and told him he has to appear at court because growing any amount of weed in Michigan is a misdemeanor. Really? Any amount? Yes. He might have problems with They're saying his worst problem is going to be tax evasion. Like the feds are absolutely interested in what's going on with that. And they put you in jail for tax evasion. But uh, he got a ticket. He got a ticket. At least that's the better jail, though, no, right? Like tax evasion jail is a whole different jail. I kind of, so. maybe. Yeah, I think you're in there with the Chrisleys and stuff. There was there was one by me in Littleton, Colorado, and you drive by and they had like they had like ball fields, they had like a little pond, a lake, like a fishing lake. Right. Like, this place doesn't look too bad from the outside. Just some of the best mines in America there, all right. Yeah, growing illegal marijuana in Michigan is only a misdemeanor crime. Uh yeah, the state of court. I was the state of court of appeals ruled last October, but unlicensed growers could face punishment for other crimes like tax evasion and seizure of valuable marijuana. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I was worried take about it. the coming after you. Yeah, I've had a, just, yeah. I've had a federal a federal attorney tell me they don't like that that tax evasion part. Like they don't like that. I like to make them, like people, you know examples of people. <laughs> Pay your taxes. They want jail time. Um, hey, let's shout out some producers here, man. It's time we got to give away some seeds as well. Um, I must give some shout outs to some of these people, some of these DGC, you people, DGC making this show happen like OG Fly High. What's up, buddy? I know we're going to see you at the DGC Cup and New Leaf. How's it growing, New Leaf? I like that name. Very, very pleasurable. Yeah, I got a New Leaf, man. It's looking good. All right. Yes, I love New Leafs. They're actually good to eat, too. Just not for uh, us. You're, you're such a hippie, man. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you got? Where you at? Want me to take I, some more? I will have no, I like smells like Chung. I think <laughs> Chung smells all right, man. I don't know. Some of those some of those movies I've seen, I don't know if they smell so good. Maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking kind of a little bit of the uh the what's the hippie smell? Patchouli mixed with meat. 
I had explained to my kid what patchouli was yesterday, man. I sat her down and explained it. <laughs> a blended smell made to cover up bo and wheat. There is sorry, but there is no it. if you're if you're using patchouli, there is no blended smell. It's it's just patchouli. Uh, it's that strong. <laughs> how about Drano, man? I don't know. I know Drano, man. Are you a patchouli guy, Drano? I gotta know, man. <laughs> Your hey, mailman drone, I don't, I don't know. what's up, brother? Oh, sorry. I just want to shout out your mailman gross. All right, no worries. I'll take it. He doesn't though, but he's I think he says, I don't know. I'm confused. I, 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 Mr. Flinchy, maybe you could straighten out what's up, Mr. Flinchy DGC. Hope to see as many people as we can at the DGC Cup. DGC produces. You get 25% off tickets. Don't forget that. Go scroll down. Log into Patreon. There's a lot going on. I put up a video the other day. Of the orange gas and trying to help me pick out my pheno. Scotty's got a video as his grow up. Banner's putting up at least once or twice a month seed hookups. So if you ain't hanging out, man, go to dudegrows.com forward slash support and become part of the crew. You're missing out on deals, the hangs, the whole nother show on Friday with the happy hour. Dudegrows.com forward slash support. So that's what I got, Scotty. Let's hear from you. We put up a post. We got to give away some seeds. Are we doing a fall prohibition report actually first here? Where are we at? You yeah, you know what? We'll just do some quick hits on this because, like I okay. said, we're going with the future. And if you told me in the future that they'd have to uh, uh, retire all the drug dogs, all the weed sniffing dogs, because you can't uh, probably you can't just pull over a car now and say it smells like weed. I'm going to search your car because weed's legal. So it'd just like be you know showing up and being like it smells like coffee. I'm going to search your car. You know, so the drug dogs have to be retrained now or retired. I guess you can't retrain them. I don't know. It's free. 300 of them in Ohio all alone. 300 drug sniffing dogs. I guess you can't retrain them. Maybe they're excited to retire. Maybe they're like, man, we're tired of busting people with weed. We want to chill. Can we get one? They must be going places, (laughs) right? Like, are they adopting them? I will take really good care, but a weed sniffing dog would be awesome. Oh, no, you got to be careful. Yeah, no, you got to you, you adapt a, a working dog, a canine dog, especially if it's a shepherd. Because I have my first dog that's half shepherd now. I don't know if you can see the scratch on my forehead right here. Oh, that came from that dog this morning. <laughs> got to be careful oh. when you fight them. Anyway, <laughs> what else you got, uh, Gotti? Uh, it, this is uh, right along the lines, but Michigan Supreme Court affirms, uh, Minnesota Supreme Court affirms that marijuana odor is insufficient cause for police to search a motor vehicle. Enough said, drop the mic, man. Dude. What is, though? What, I mean, what, what else can they do? Can they, can't cops pretty much just make up if they want? Like, I think I saw you might have hid this. I, I might, you know what I mean? I guess you got to take it to court, but um, and it depends on if they're recording, which some of them are supposed to be, some of them aren't, or if you're recording, which I don't know, is that admissible? Because I always thought when you get pulled over, hit your record on your phone and just like set it in the cup holder. Can you use that right. shit if you need to? I have no idea, man. I'm not a cop, man. All right. We need an attorney up on the show. We haven't had an attorney on in a while. Guys, hook us up. Some attorneys, man. UI 5280 still around? Let's check on it. I'm sure he's got a billboard. <laughs> Don't we have DGC not a cop? I believe we do. <laughs> it's a good name. It's a good name, man. Hey, Greg, I got one here. From Are you from Iowa or Idaho? I always forget. Iowa. I'm from Iowa. Iowa. They're the same. Kind of next to each other, right? It's a little bit. Just a few thousand miles. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. It's just an inside joke. All right. Um, this is a new Idaho bill would create four hundred and twenty dollar mandatory minimum fine for marijuana possession. Like, oh, you, I get it. You guys are so cute. Um, basically, this is something a bill that, if passed into law, would amend existing penalties that are already there. So, for manufacturing, delivery, or possession of controlled substances, Idaho law already specifies anyone possessing more than three ounces of marijuana can be punished with a prison sentence of up to five years and a five of 10,000 or both. So if you're possessing more than three. So now this bill says, hey, why not? If you're possessing less than three, we'll give you a $420 fine. Um, So during the hearing, this is the people like the officials voting and making this during Tuesday's short introductory hearing, Skog, I don't know who this dude is, also dropped several marijuana related puns when he told committee he smoked out the problem in his last bill 
and changes oh, in his bill. He ran by his assistant, Mary Jane. He's a funny guy. Jeez. Uh, get it? These smoke I don't think it going out. to Idaho, man. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. So Idaho is on a non-visit list, although I hear there's a bunch of kick-ass places to live there that like is on the down low and they don't like people talking about it. Rogan mentioned it on one of his shows. He's like, I visited. They're like, no, you're too popular. We don't want all these damn people. That's funny. Anyway. Yes. Yes, sir. What do you want to do? Comments, ben? I want to hook up some DJ short packs. I want to scroll the Patreon comments. Guys, we've got a bunch of comments over on Patreon. Uh Banner, put it up. Tell us the funniest moments of the Dude Grow Show for you. What did you guys find? What did you find funny? Um, so, and we have, I think, seven or eight packs of DJ Short to hook up, as well as oh, we'll get some eight ounces of recharge out there because we've got 144 comments on this. Thank you guys for commenting. And Scott, yeah, can we scroll these, Grambo? Oh, there's so many funny ones. We can't give seeds out to everyone, but uh, man, these are really funny. No? Holy shit. We yeah, Cody, Cody Lodi 420. Whenever my whenever Scotty says my dad's an AC repairman, always reminds me of Spicoli on Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh, my old man's <laughs> a television repairman. He's got the ultimate set of tools. I can fix it. Yes, I might have stolen that from Spicoli, man, but uh that's hilarious, man. Nice job, Cody. I like, well, you it. I like, like it. it. What do you got? Um, let's see here. Oh, hi, puppers. Oh, <laughs> oh you got dogs visiting your banner? Oh, I got a friend. Uh, hang on. I'm stealing it, man. Rufio845 says, dude pronouncing monosilicic acid in the order in the older episodes. I think he's got it now. Much love, DTC. Come on. Give it to me, man. <laughs> I got to say, Mr. Tim oh. Bobway with uh, hit, hit the ball, hit the gong, will you? Yeah. Right on, man. Right on. That's funny. Oh, I like it. Uh, Scooby, Scooby oh. Dabber do. Every time Banner comments on what other issue can 70% of America agree on? Painful yet funny. I think it's more than 70% at this point as far as people saying, let's legalize it. Let people token and do whatever they want. 70%. Uh, yo, I'm growing. Throwback to the early days. Um, yeah, to quote the dude, Jay Mysterio still makes me laugh. Remember those? Jay Mysterio. And Junior Token. We were like, I don't know who these guys are, but they're cool. And they're shit. They know more about Junior. Well, I don't remember Junior Token. That's funny. Junior Token. Absolutely, man. That's awesome, oh. man. How about the Thrack Attack? Thrack, thrack Attack, K? Hey? The first epic nipple slip from dude is the funniest moment so far. It's also my wife's favorite moment. Okay. Ah, really? Ah, uh, okay. Guess the lady's going to too. Hello. Now, it's some, it's just, sometimes it's just, it's just a little slip. It's, oh, yeah, it's all good. Grambo, simmer down. I know you got comments. Anything Grambo says. Hey, thanks. I Grambo. love it. There were a bunch. <laughs> there were a bunch on here. Uh, Grambo, apparently, you are funny, man. Um, freaking digging. A bunch of people are like, and so you can't be too the, quiet during the show. The, ah. the best thing is when I say jokes that you don't, you guys don't get, and it just like bombs, and then the DGC gets it. They, they always love that. Reaper 62, 6628, when dude says, Rusty Nuts, ka -king. come on, dude, give it to <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, when Scotty was throwing king. autism dad. Hey, what's up, man? When Scotty was throwing darts at the wheel of seeds, I would hold, remember that when I hold when uh, Kyle would hold the uh, dab and darts board, I would take a dab off the dart and throw it at him. Those are good times, like right, man. That's what happens when he I never got injured. Game. Nobody got injured. string cheese sector string string cheese uh, sector nine. Uh, remember when dude called a nicotine vape a pussy stick? I can't remember if he caught his boy with the or something, but it was funny. Uh, didn't expect Pussy Stick to come out of the dude, and I did. I caught my son. He was in oh, yeah, seventh, maybe, or something. And it was one of those things where it's like, dude, I told, why does it smell like some weird ass cotton candy stuff? Like, come on. I know, like, this, it's off. And he's like, no, you know, nothing, you know, and waistband in the waistband behind his shorts. It's like, all right, dude, just had to make fun of it. Yeah, I got mad. I found one. I was like, and then she's like, it's weed. And I was like, oh, and it was one of those like views pens. And I tried to break it in front of her, but it was like really well made. And I was like, 
You know what I mean? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> We're scared. What's some Dino Grow? Dino Grow. Dude's wife saying, "Are you naked online again?" Because I was proud to show my wife a seeds here now video I did shirtless on the beach, like beach background, because it was like summertime <laughs> beach sale or something. And she's like, "What's wrong with you?" Like she didn't. I thought she'd like my creativity. No, <laughs> they don't care. They just don't care, dude. When Scotty had the pineapple I- in Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah did i put it upside down oh, somebody hey. you did somebody made a comment on here about that i'll find it here um it was a joke guys if you heard if you if you heard your name called if you heard the mention of your comment man i'm going to i we don't have enough seeds for everybody um scotty's hooking up some eight ounces of recharge i will hit you up on patreon uh, as well, and you'll that way we'll be able to connect you with Warehouse Kyle to get you hooked up with some seeds and or eight ounces of recharge. Thank you, everybody, Grandpa for commenting. Stuff. And what's that? I'm sorry, I was just kind of getting gra- growing grandma having anal and clean together in the same sentence. <laughs> sorry, man. I had to, uh, hmm. Ours kicker yeah. saying, gotta be transpusion. Um. Thanks everybody for commenting. Um, Banner, we gotta we gotta have a meeting about our seed inventory. I don't know if any know your breeders are are on the burner, but we gotta we gotta bring our inventory back up and <laughs> we'll be kicking off some more spring giveaways. Man, it is spring. It's what is it, March 2nd? Spring? Is this officially spring yet? Or no, not yet. You gotta wait till mid March or something. Is there an official date? Uh of course there March twenty first, man. Bring it April. Right now. It's April, isn't it? No, solstice. you're uh, you're uh, smart. Oh, wait, there's no spring solstice, there's a summer and a winter. That's Doesn't it. matter, it's the equinox, bro. I'll tell you, the solstice is a good day to mark as a party day if you can. I like solstice, is like I'm gonna start that as a tradition. Like, solstice, the longest day of the year, you should do we should party hard, do something you know, let you like a grill, bike, pound some beers, rip some bongs. <laughs> so it's very, very pagan of you. Souls just man. Right. <laughs> like and like I said, oh. celebrate the equinox then too. You got spring and fall. All right. I don't know. Isn't that the shortest day of the year? No, equinox is when it's you got 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark. Oh, 12 12. I like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. As a grower, you should uh, be saying Thanks again. Things. I like that. Patreon producers, man, we do appreciate you. I ain't joking when I say we would not have a show without you. We would not be coming at you. We wouldn't be laughing together, helping each other grow. So dudegrows.com forward slash support if you want to get in on this action. And those are some hot packs, man. Thank you, DJ Short. Yes. Yes. I agree. Cool, cool. What, uh, I don't know. You got some, we were getting ready to uh, not wrap yet, or you have some fun social media. The Scotty's weird social, I shouldn't say weird. It's actually pretty good. Rambo, what is this channel? This is the best. I'm never taking it off this channel. Do me a favor, man. Is it, you know, what are you looking at? Is this ASMR? Grambo usually tells me they're always ASMR. Oh, it's just this woman. She's, uh, you guys ever eat sugar cane, by the way? No, freaking delicious, and they grow it up in Florida. It's just like this soft, <laughs> this soft like sugar. I don't know wood. It's literally woody pulp. You got to spit it out. It's made of almost all. Yeah, sugar. I, I used to eat sugar cane as a kid. ASMR usually has audio. I think this is just uh, you know, it's got audio. You hear that crunch? Just- <laughs> oh, it's Kansas and Station down my spine. Okay, no, this channel, as much as I'm goofing, this channel is really interesting for background. She caught, she harvests something. I don't know what part of Asia it's from, but she harvests something and then takes it to the market every day and then sells it at the market. And it is like three hours long and it is interesting as hell. Like for just background, there she is. Those are bamboo. Oh, like, is what those are. I know exactly what those are. Dendrocalamus asper bamboo shoots, man. Wow. They're out of the ground and they're soft when they're, when they're fresh, when they're soft. That's what you cut to I'm, eat, cook with. I'm concerned about Grambu eating Grambu. Man, I got Grambu and Banana Nanner. What's going on today with my names? Grambu. Banana Nanner. <laughs> um, 
the uh, sugar cane as a kid, huh? Is that just like you couldn't get afford real candy? Uh, that's like along with what's the one candy wow. corn? Like the, some of the worst candy out there. <laughs> the they could use those as well. Dude over here, man! Wow, one of those things as a kid. Like the older guys would be like, "Oh, you can eat this." They'd reach into a bush and pull it out, and then you try it, and it's like, "Oh, it's actually delicious. It's amazing. It's great, man." And then it's not that you know some. Redneck cowboy comes up and cuts it as you know, as a kid or whatever, and hands it to you. You're like, oh my god, it's it's yeah. like wood made of sugar. Man. No, it's you really you grill weird. you grill shrimp on those like skewers. Oh my god, it's so good in Jamaica. They do that, and it's so good. They and make then, chicken like that. No, oh. have you ever is had this woman amazing or what? This kind of yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah, it's, it's just a her day, a day in the life of a of a hard worker. Yeah. It's cool, but One I don't question. want to let other people eat. No, um, no, but it's mostly just the, the, her day planting. The other and stuff's cool though. It's trippy, man. Trippy. I like hearts of palm and salad. Is that ethical or sustainable or not? Yes or no? That's all you can say. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And they grow plenty of palms. All right, palms don't take a long time to grow. I don't think palms are endangered or anything, are they? Uh, it is. It depends on where they're going. Where, where they're getting it from. I thought it was more about the monkey labor that the, it was the issue. <laughs> like real monkeys? Like the coconut. Monkeys monkeys yeah. They, yes, they har- harvest coconut palms. They do. They send the monkeys up. No way. <laughs> yeah, bro. They t- I'm not fr- no lie. This, what are we looking uh, at? Do you think he I saw think this? This is, this is the monkey law. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is uh, they rescued him from it doing coconuts, and I didn't mean to assume gender. I'd be but. so afraid to have anything like that in my house because one day that could easily just tear your face off, even the small yeah, little thing in a dress. <laughs> this is a whole channel, too. Once I watched the girl with the uh, well, <laughs> yeah, once I watched the, the woman harvesting the sugar cane, now they really messed the algorithm up. <laughs> this is weird, right. Hey, this does remind uh, me of having a four-year-old. This monkey he acts just like my kid. Uh, yeah, it's very strange. So cute until it's not. Until it's a problem. It's, All right. Just like my kid. Weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aww. All right. Come on, I got one more. One more for you. And this is for Grambo. All right. And this is entitled, Don't Call Yourself a Country Music Fan Unless You Know Who This Is. Uh, oh, uh, you like country, right? I'm a little bit country. I don't. I can get down on some country. I don't go broadly and say I like it. Some of it, <laughs> but I'm I not sure it, who man. that is. That is Ozzy, man. That's that Ozzy, is Ozzy. Ozzy. Yeah, nice, oh, nice. I like it. Hilarious. I don't know. I thought it was funny. To end the show on a Saturday morning, it made me laugh, sir. All right. Well, I hope you all had a good time. Thank you, Banner, Rambo. Um, Stay higher, everybody. You know how we do it, man. We'll be coming at you Monday. So we'll see you then and there. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Time to hang out with your working friends. Time to go fishing, bro. Rambo, no expendable. Figure he's a dude.